What are the benefits of hiring a firm to do my taxes? Well, Jackson Hewitt has approximately 6,600 offices nationwide. Um, we have the tools and the resources um, to help you prepare your taxes correctly. And uh, you're going to need some kind of assistance. Well, what's the most important feature I should look for when I come in here to have my taxes done? The fact that we're here. I mean, uh, we're here when you need us. We're here during the tax season and beyond. We're here in the summertime, we're here in the fall. Uh, you know, you pick up the phone and we're a phone call away. What's it called? The Barry's. The Barry's based on your tax return. There's no such thing as, you know, a small, medium, and large. You know, every tax return is different. Everybody requires a different amount of time. Every fee is different. So what should that fee cover? The fee should cover the preparation of your taxes. Uh, it should cover... Um, the advice that you need while you're getting your taxes prepared. Remember, preparing your tax return is just preparing a history book on what happened last year. So uh, another benefit to coming to Jackson Hewitt is you might as well contact us in July or August or September and find out what's going on for this year before you hit December 31st and you can't change anything. So I should probably make an appointment before January. It would be a good idea, but most people don't think that. That's a good point, though. We should keep that in mind. Do you, uh, do you hire CPAs? You know, we have hired CPAs, we do hire CPAs when they come in you know, looking for seasonal employment. Uh, a CPA is not entirely necessary to prepare your tax return. Uh, remember, I just said that you know, you're know you coming in and preparing a history book on what you did last year. It doesn't take a brain surgeon to take the numbers and put them in the right place. So what makes Jackson Hewitt stand out over the other firms? Other than that, I understand that you said that we're here, so a lot of firms, I guess, are closed during the, the We are month? here, uh -huh. okay? We're not small independents. We're a nationwide firm. If you were to pick up and move to California, you could walk into a Jackson Hewitt in California from New Jersey and get a copy of your tax returns. We have clients coming in all the time that come from different states that have moved here into the area and they need a copy. We can print it out for them. And we have the ability to access their prior year returns uh, from other areas that they live they where they move from. So now, if you don't always look for a CPA, what do you look for in the tax year? What kind of credentials should they have? Well, I think you would look at the name of the company you're walking into in this case. Okay, It's not necessarily the credentials of the preparer who's preparing your returns when you walk into a Jackson Hewitt office. You're walking into an office that has somebody that's going to stand behind the work that that preparer does. So even if that preparer is no longer around or available, there is a company behind the work that was done that is going to be there for you to come back to. Do they have to have a license or anything like that? Tax preparers come, uh, we start our tax classes in September. So beginning tax preparers could come to our basic courses. We have advanced courses. And we also have... Uh, ongoing required training, not only in taxes, but also in ethics, that our preparers must um, complete. So then, do they get tested, or how, how is it that they we, actually... We have, a, you know, we have our own test that they, they do for us. Okay? At this point, uh, there is no requirement by the IRS or the state of New Jersey that you know, a tax preparer be licensed, although the government is slowly inching their way to Jackson Hewitt already is ahead of the curve, I guess, if they make Well, we, we have our preparers are required to pass our own internal tests before they're able to access our software. Oh, that's a lot. Who makes your best preparer? Who do you prefer to have as your preparer across the best customer? Somebody who's outgoing, friendly, customer service oriented. Uh, again, you know, we can uh, basically teach anyone how to use the software but uh, it takes a special individual to know how to listen to a client. So now, the clients that you've had, you've been in business for how many years? 20 years. So they, they've been coming back to you, some of them for 20 years, or are they all new customers every year? We have the, a percentage that are repeat customers, and we have new customers. How do you get them to come back? Just show them a picture of me. And <laughs> that probably does happen. But in addition to that, because you're not in every office, are you in every single office? 
No, I've been thinking about putting my picture behind every desk. <laughs> uh, we get the customers to come back by just providing them with great customer service. Well, this is definitely the age of group service. So for how do you ensure your your workers come back? I mean, I bet you appreciate the loyalty of your staff. We have approximately 50% of our staff coming back. Remember, tax preparation is a seasonal job. And sometimes people do find other employment and work in other fields. So um, they come back. A lot of online services out there. It's kind of becoming a do-it-yourself world. How does the consumer benefit from coming to Jackson Hewitt to do their taxes instead of doing it? Well, everybody thinks that it's as simple as going online and plugging in the numbers and transmitting the return. Okay? And there are a lot of free services online right now. But I can show, well, I can show you the example, but as recently as last fall, we had a client come in here who has been preparing his taxes online for the previous three years. And we prepared his uh, 2007 return came in only because he didn't have the time to prepare the 2007 return. And in preparing his 2007 return, we picked up an error on his 2006, which also went back to his 2005. And when we corrected those errors, it resulted in additional refunds of $11,000. Well, that would definitely make a difference again. I appreciate that. That's really good information. What are some of the common deductions you find for people? Um, well, they have, if, if somebody happens to be a homeowner, uh, their real estate taxes, their mortgage interest, uh, employee business expenses, uh, charitable contributions, their medical deductions. There's a lot of things that people don't realize they can deduct that we can advise them. So is there some type of information, is there a website or a place they can go on the internet to get maybe a list of these deductions they should be thinking about all year long? They can go to jacksonville.com they'll find not only information on deductions that they can take, they'll also find information on our tax school and a little bit more information about the company. Wow, that's fantastic. And when, again, was school starting? Tax classes start in September. And now uh, the office is open for business The officially? office is open for business every day. Every day? Just call all us up around. if somebody's here all year round. That's fantastic. Well, thanks a lot for meeting with me today, Tom. I really appreciate it a lot. Too bad that we